So she's doing great. She just got her a good bath. And now she's giving her babies a bath. She still has all nine. Um, was it nine or ten? I can't but they're all doing great. <laughs> very, very verbal. <laughs> she's still bleeding a little bit. I mean, that's normal. They, you know, just like a, when a human has a baby, they bleed for a few weeks. So she'll bleed off and on for a few weeks too. She has a couple of babies that are like kind of reddish and one that's a little bit lighter. They're so cute. She loves getting a bath. Now her babies are too small to get a bath like how she gets. They have to be cleaned by her. And she's doing a great job at keeping them clean. Like she's a great mother. <laughs> such a great mother. I mean, that is amazing. She is a great, great mother. Yeah, he wants a booby. He's getting his booby. I'm so proud of her. If any of them start to whine, she's on it. Like, she's checking to see what's going on. Like she's pulling them back to her. If they squiggle off a little too far, she'll pull them right back over. And she knows each baby. She knows their smell. She knows they're supposed to be there. Look, she's trying to get them balled up together. She does that to keep them warm. And she'll scrunch up and scrunch up and pull them to her and like lay on them. It's so cute. We're gonna get her dried off and then get her back to her nursery so they can lay down and relax. She had a lot of blood on her tail and stuff so I had to wash her. Couldn't just wipe it out. And I'll also give you a tip. If, um, if you have a dog that's had babies and it bleeds on your floor, take peroxide, just regular. Um, I don't have the bottle, but there it is right there. Just get a regular bottle of peroxide like this and just pour it on the spot where the blood is and then you can wipe it up. Let it fizzle for probably like a minute and then wipe it up. Peroxide takes the blood out of clothes, mattresses, sheets, um, floors. I mean, I use this anytime any kind of blood gets on anything, I use peroxide. Trust me, I'll do a video and I'll show you sometime. Like, it'll take blood off of almost everything. Cause she had walked around this morning and she had bled on the floor and I mean that's what I use, I've always used it. My grandma was the one who taught me to use peroxide on stain, blood stains like that. You're on 
almost dry. Are you cleaning your leg again? She is so sweet. Such a sweet girl. I'm so glad I got her. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility when you get a pregnant dog, but if you can handle it and you can give them a stable home, it just it is everything. That better? Nice and dry? I would blow dry her like I do some of my dogs, but she does not like loud noises, so I know the blow dryer is not gonna be, you know, good. She's not going to like blow dryer, so we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to have to towel dryer. I always take the towel or a washcloth and wipe the inside of the ears. You can damp it a little bit and then wipe inside the ears. And make sure you keep your dog's ears clean. If their ears get really dirty and stinky and like with gunk in it, they'll itch really bad. And it'll make the dog dig and claw at their ears a lot. See, she don't mind me cleaning her ear right now. She likes it. but they will dig their ear raw trying to scratch that itchy stuff. And it has a bad smell when it gets really dirty. You don't want their ears being dirty. You always need to check your dog's teeth and make sure they don't have cavities because a dog's teeth, when they get a cavity, hurts just like when ours do. Somebody's fussy. It's this big one right here, this big booty right there. It's fussy. It's trying to get to a booby, and the boobies are occupied at the moment. So when these get done feeding for a few minutes, we'll alternate them and swap them out. Make sure everybody gets some milk. And she does it too. See how she just did? She'll push one over so another one can come up. Dogs are so smart. You'd be surprised. I've seen mama dogs that know how to alternate babies so they can all get something to drink. Because she wants them all to be strong. And I will say this. Sometimes if a mama dog has a runt or a weak puppy, you may have to take care of that weak puppy yourself because sometimes a mama dog will like push them away because she wants the strong ones to be strong and survive. And in the animal world, the strong survive. Sometimes a uh, mama dog will not take care of a weak puppy or a sick puppy. She'll kind of just, you know, wean it out basically. And then you have to step in and take care of the puppy and get it, keep it in good health. I have had mama dogs that will take care of a weak puppy and get it back, you know, get it good and strong and feed it good. But sometimes they won't though. Your hair is so pretty. Well, that's about the update for now. Everybody's doing great. Just gotta get them back to their nursery. So we'll see you guys later.